Hello everyone. I hope this finds you very well and managing in these unusual, in fact unprecedented circumstances. I thought I'd just provide a short message, a bit of an update about my thoughts on how we are managing as a community and how perhaps to respond individually to the challenges that we're facing. We're all in a state of unprecedented anxiety, concern for ourselves, our families, our community, for the whole of humanity. There's ongoing, almost relentless reports, often conflicting in the media. There's an unprecedented lockdown. And there are distressing reports of people who are sick, some quite seriously, in and around the community. And our thoughts and prayers are with all of them. We're doing our very best as a community. We're praying together when we can. We're studying together and we've ramped up our welfare provision in ways of which I'm very proud. We have a wonderful exec and fantastic welfare teams to support the rabbis and the rabbitsons and I'm extremely grateful to all those involved. I've also been asked by a number of people exactly what they should do and I quite understand, I feel myself, what can I do? So the first thing is it's absolutely vital that we follow the government regulations without any question and in, in doubt Ask a medic, don't make a decision yourself. I've been attempting to get my once a day exercise, but again, you have to make sure that neither you or anyone else in the home is unwell before doing that. We have a sick list, that's a list of those people who are unwell, which until services were suspended, um, I would read out every Shabbos morning. Unfortunately, I can't circulate that for data protection reasons. Some people don't want their names to be circulated to others. But I'd like to assure people that at the moment, that list of people and praying for their well-being and recovery is read by me every weekday mincha. So we've gone from once a week to six times a week. If you'd like to add a name to that list, um, please do send it forward to me by email or by WhatsApp. After virtual Mariv every weekday, that's Sunday to Thursday at 7.30, we say a psalm together, our prayers and thoughts for those who are unwell. But in addition to that, there are one or two other things that we might like to try as individuals. Psalms are always good. It's a very traditional way in Jewish life of responding to all kinds of circumstances, good and less positive. They're a good way of connecting and they're varied in their themes. You should choose any psalm you like. However, if you're looking for ones that are often said at this time, I would recommend, recommend Psalms 20, 121, 130, and 142. And I will circulate the Hebrew text with translation of these psalms for those who will find it useful. I do recommend though that if there's a particular psalm that speaks to you or you enjoy saying or you connect with, then do use that as an alternative. Other things you can do is to include people's names, names of your family members, names of those you're concerned about in, in a random, if you like, entirely ad hoc prayer, or also in the Amida, in the Refo'enu blessing, which is about health and healing. And finally, um, learning, studying Torah in any way at all is always beneficial in the merit of those who are sick. You can have that person in mind or say their name. Um, it depends on what you enjoy or you have access to. There's a huge wealth of material online. You can choose a Mishnah, you can choose a section from Tanakh. All of these things are available with translation from the website or app Safaria. Zeigerzons and Stark use some of these ideas as a way of connecting with those who are unwell at afar leaving out our own anxiety, an anxiety which I very much share, and hoping for a complete reform for all of those who are unwell in our community and beyond, and an end to this challenge.